So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what Eververse, uh, Ada, and Zer are selling for the week. I unfortunately did not make a video for you guys for Zer because unfortunately I was just super duper busy. Obviously with the raid snippet right here. Got a healing grenade though. We're almost there, almost there, boys. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh my! We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes! Oh, oh my God. God! So yeah, that's why I didn't make a video for Zer, but I'll have a good portion of him now since we didn't cover him. He is in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He's currently selling the Season of the Seraph armor. I definitely like this armor. I just think some pieces are better than others. I'm gonna have to go to the collections because I don't remember the armor. So seasons and it's literally second pick third no second pick yeah. So hunters, I start off with you guys. I think the helmet is very usable. I think the arms are usable as well. Chest piece as well. Boots, I think take off colors, which is pretty unfortunate. And the cloak, I'm not the biggest fan of at all. Uh, Titans, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I only like the helmet. I think the helmet is pretty cool. The arms are kind of weak. The chest piece, I think is could good as well and the boots i'm not the biggest fan of as well um yeah let me actually look at it real quick you guys probably won't even see this because the armor should be showcased right now um boots actually look pretty cool pretty bulky i was not expecting the armor on the sides again i haven't seen this armor since seraph uh just because to be fair my brain's kind of fried from just raiding i've been raiding a lot um but yeah, I definitely would recommend the boots and the mark. The mark I definitely don't like at all. And I, I remember how it looks. Uh, Warlocks, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of it. I think the chest piece is pretty decent, but the helmet is just another circle helmet. Like literally almost every helmet has that for you guys, which is very unfortunate. Um, arms are definitely usable. Boots, I don't even remember the boots for them. Let me see real quick. Um, wow okay yeah you can definitely use the boots for some armor pieces damn that's actually pretty good could good the only unfortunate part is that it is using the um what's it called the the insignia for warmind or rasputin that's the only thing that kind of annoys me from the whole set is just the fact that it's using that insignia right there and the bond is kind of kind of like whatever so i definitely would still recommend you guys to pick this up if you guys can afford it considering this is like what 50 each yeah so 50 legendary each which is uh 250 for one for one character and 750 for all characters so i know that's a lot to ask it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it there you go um, for weapons, we have True Prophecy with Overflow and Time Payload. I definitely would recommend this just because uh, Overflow is going to be really gross with Time Payload, especially in PvP. PvE definitely usable, but I would still recommend it in PvP. Um, the GN7 rifle, I would immediately ignore this. Grid Skipper with Trash Rolls. Uh, ignition Code with Field Prep and Vorpal with dis Disorienting um, Grenade, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, Disorienting Grenade. I would recommend this one just because it's a good like you can use disorienting grenade or high velocity rounds, which you have Vorpal with this. So it's going to be really cool. The only thing that kind of sucks is Vorpal or field prep. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of field prep. You do get increased ammo reserves, fast reload stow and ready when you're crouched. So that's pretty cool. But I would I, I, I'd say this is a good good one to get. We have seven service CQC 12 <clears throat> with snapshot sites and auto loading. I don't know if I recommend this, like not even in PvE, PvP maybe, but I would have preferred it if it was a uh, snapshot. No, not we have snapshots. Um, the quick draw feels quick draw and snapshots. I would have recommended it easily. Corsair with uh, no distraction demo. I'm not the biggest fan of that. And sales spy pitch glass with rapid hit and bolt shot. I actually would recommend this just because that's kind of like the role that I would go for. Um, yeah, I would recommend this one for sure. And this is the only red border weapon. I think, uh, yeah, this is the only red border. So if you are trying to build this one, definitely pick it up for the exotics. It's going to be Hawk Moon with Eye of the Storm and Prometheus Lens <clears throat> for armor Orpheus rig with very mid armor stats Titans with decent rolls. I would probably bump up that resilience to a 17. Uh, and then masterwork it'll, it'll be a 17 25 set 18 that's pretty interesting um definitely interesting to pick up and then getaway artist with 
not bad um i would probably bump up the recovery to 33 and then just have another resilient re like a high resilience piece for another armor piece but for getaway artists so let me know what you guys think i'm gonna pick pick this up because again i have not seen Zer all week <clears throat> lucky pants huh Mmm, 21 21 and recovery will be a two that doesn't really matter considering i could just bump up the recovery from another armor piece that's decent um i think that's the best one i have so far so let me know what you guys think about that um let's go to eververse real quick because uh why not <clears throat> and then for her we have cursed azure which is a shader um yeah it's from season of the Sp not splicer it's season of the plunder the, the pirate one i definitely would recommend this one just because it does look really cool we have uh, herbal's glands i again i've made a video of this shader definitely pick it up it's a really good black shader i will have the video up right now you guys will see of just me showcasing the shader but also explaining why i actually like the orange part of the shader because if you guys don't know there is orange part to it uh right here you guys can see it uh, let me switch out to a better better armor piece real quick <clears throat> i think this one should do the yeah this one should do it i like i always 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 i always recommend oracle's glance because it's a good black so this orange i know some people are going to be like oh that's gross but you can definitely make it usable in some pieces and from the arms you guys can see it turns it all black so i know <clears throat> i know some people might be like oh well all black guardian just is boring but i mean get over yourself bro i like whatever if you're not gonna do it then it's not hurting you so i don't know why you're getting bothered by it uh we have pyramid entrance looks cool we have violent exorcism which like i want to get it because it does look unique but i hate how it looks and the other ornament i have is basically just a shader change we have gong show <clears throat> Yep. And then for the bottom stuff, we have Mara multi tool, which is the dreaming city inspired one. And I need to get this one before I forget. I'll get it in a bit, but yeah, it definitely looks cool. Changes the geometry of the armor or, or of the thing a lot, but the silhouette is still the same. If that makes any sense, we have over over packed, which I like this one so much. It's because it looks, I like it a lot. Actually, how does it shade her? It is pretty good. We have Wings of the Firebird. <clears throat> I would have liked it if the fire like changed when you were like doing this, when you were like in 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 transmat or whatever. Uh Astrologic Shell, which looks cool as well. Like actually. We have Scene Clapper, which I got. Um I, I bought this when we were doing the uh <laughs> that's funny uh stargazer does it have an exit no it doesn't i think it's only like a one one and done uh cannon fodder i didn't do this one uh vex incursion entrance and capsule gang entrance For the shaders, we have Butterbark. I'm not the biggest fan of this shader. It's the yellow, honestly. If the, if the yellow was in any other color, I would have been super duper fine with it because the bone, or not bone, the wood texture or color. No, that's, I, mm, either way, the bone like look is fine. It's just the yellow that I really hate. Uh, oiled Gunmetal, this is a good shader if you want to go for a black look or if you want to have your guns have a really cool sheen to them. We have Atmospheric Glow, which is a good green shader. You just have to make sure you pick uh, armor wisely because then you'll have situations like this where you have a good dark green, but then like a really bright green. If you like that, I mean, more power to you. I'm not the biggest fan of that, so, which is why I usually work around this shader to make sure I have pieces like the arms where it's just dark green. And then War Brick, uh, one of my favorite shaders, uh, only for the fact that the red is so good. It's like one of my favorite kinds of red. It's just unfortunate that this is the off color, um, as you guys can see from all everything else this is like the off color. So that's pretty much it for ever. So let's like, actually look at what Ada is offering. As for Ada, she is selling the House of Marin shader. I am not the biggest fan of this shader. 
um just because of the the yellow honestly this shader would be such a banger and would actually be a competition to sato tribe if it wasn't for this yellow the yellow is just awful um not the gold however the gold is cool um it's just the yellow and that's why the other one um house something i don't remember the other one the green one that's why those two are trash and how sato tribe is the best we have new pacific rush which is uh this one is from i want to say this one is from titan so and yeah this is for titan so it's an old shader definitely pick it up this is vanilla destiny 2 um and we don't even have titan in the plant in the in the world anymore so definitely pick it up or actually we technically do now a uh, new monarchy regalia i love this shader this is the iron man shader so if you want to look like iron man definitely rock this shader new monarchy regalia is just legitimately one of my favorite shaders just because of the golden red it looks really cool makes you look very royal or iron man for the armor it's gonna be the dead dead end cure stuff so for the hunters i think the helmet the chest piece the arms are all really good and definitely workable the mark or the cloak is not my favorite and the boots i think are pretty terrible considering they're not only a reskin i mean pretty much all of it is is a reskin but the boots are particularly terrible because the bandages on the ankle don't change color titans everything but the mark is banger and you definitely should get all of those and then for the warlocks i think the helmet and the chest piece are really good the boots you can definitely use for like a regular like guardian look because they're just regular boots arms i'm not the biggest fan of and bond I, you can really ignore so that's pretty much it for everyone let me know what you guys are going to be picking up in the comments below i am super excited to give, give you guys some content because i have oh my god so i should probably tell you guys right now that i am already done with the day one raid we completed it uh not too long ago and it was rough guys i am so proud of my team because we finally we did it we we completed crota not only on normal but on the challenge mode as well and this is how much content that i have for you guys all of this right here so all of this this is normal this is challenge mode so we did it all completed i'm gonna see if i can get some funny snippets from it because we we were saying some funny shit and then just make them as shorts because uh i probably won't do them all in one big video but i will definitely show you guys the the runs so look out for that i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later